Man, I got goosebumps. I got butterflies. Yeah, yeah. I got chills. I got all those things. I'm going to tell you what, man. Uh, today, I am borrowing a page from Senator Cory Booker's book, and I am not letting anything steal my joy. Uh, I am on a, a high right now. It is a great day to be an American. It's a great day to be black. It's a great day to be an American. Yeah. Um, just to be living in this moment of history. I am even deriving joy from watching members of the GOP leave the chamber like the 91 Detroit yeah, Pistons yeah, yeah. when they lost yeah, to the Bulls. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a great, I, 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 that's a great I, analogy. I derive pleasure. That's a great analogy. <laughs> uh, I'm who, deriving hey, pleasure from hey, that. Mitch, Mitch, McConnell, Mitch McConnell is Jack McCloskey. Jack McCloskey right there in the tunnel crying, trying to hug you know? Bill Lampier like, is this oh, over? Oh man! Is this over? Let me, Did it really let me sip Did some swept? of those GOP tears right hey, quick. You know, you ain't get swept though. You ain't get swept. <sighs> At least uh, the, the the Pistons got swept. Uh, y'all lost. Uh, y'all lost fifty three to forty seven. There were three Republican senators who did cross over to the other side. It really shouldn't have been that close. This was a this was a no brainer uh, nomination. This should have been a no brainer confirmation and 5347 just really tells a story of our politicized times and our often out of touch politicians. You know, I think about that. I'm going to talk about the negative before it gets to the positive. I, I think about this sometimes when we go through these things, Michael, um, and now now our both, you know, our, our families, our kids, we both have three kids. Our kids are all old enough to be aware of what's happening in society. But I think about when when the family was younger. You know, when your when your oldest was like two or three years old, um, and something happened, you ask yourself, what will I tell them when they ask about it when they get older, or when they ask, hey, where did you stand on this? Where were you when this happened? I want to be able to give a good answer. And so for those Republicans who sat down, for Tim Scott, I'm sorry to keep picking on your brother, but I'm gonna pick on your brother. For Tim Scott, the, you know, the, the 11, one of 11 black senators in history, in, in history, for you, to, a black man, to reject the nomination on her judicial philosophy, buying into your colleagues talking points, which are to be diplomatic, uh, inaccurate, uh, overstated, uh, taken out of context is a shame. So that that's something for for Tim Scott and others to look in the mirror and deal with their own conscience. But with. for yeah. other people for and I'll give you I'll give you credit Susan Collins. I'll give you credit Mitt Romney, uh, Lisa Murkowski, the Republicans who did vote for this uh, confirmation. Yes, you were in the right place at the right time. And the other thing I'll say on this, the positive, is I've always felt that you can tell the story. I've told you this before. You can tell the story of the United States of America. A great narrative is just looking at the history of the Supreme Court. You don't need anybody to spin it for you. It doesn't have to be left, right, center. Just look at the history of the Supreme Court. It's right there. It's archived beautifully. All you have to do is look at the history of this country and, and the laws that were uh, laws that were passed, uh, uh, issues that were rejected uh, on mm -hmm. the steps of the court or at the feet of the court. And you get a really good portrait of what the United States of America is. And for somebody like Katanji Brown Jackson to be a part of this court with its flat out racist history from for generations is just amazing. It's amazing. It says a great thing. I, I like the way you said up top. It says a great thing about the United States of America. It says a great thing about the progress of black Americans. Uh, and, and it says and it says something uh, great about just just um, persistence, persistence and 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 hopefulness. And holding on. I mean, uh, you know, Gary Carter said to me before the one of our producers said to me before the show started, he said, I wish my my mom could have seen it. She didn't see Obama and and, and she didn't she didn't see this. I think the same thing. I think about my grandmother and my grandfather and and great aunts and great uncles who passed before this moment who really 
put in that sweat equity and put in a lot of yeah. uh, intellectual capital to help you get to where you are to help get help me get to where I am and to see moments like this today. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be a night of celebration in the Smith household for sure. Um, you know, as are yours. My kids are already spoiled, as is my wife. No, no, she don't like it when I say that, but it's true. But uh, there, there's no no coming from daddy tonight. Anything my wife wants, uh, anything my kids <laughs> want, you want ice cream for dinner, you got it. Like, I mean, I, it, yeah. it feels very similar, though for different reasons. And obviously, you know, with the benefit of hindsight, that honeymoon period wore off quickly, but I feel a lot like I felt uh, that November day when Ding Dong, the witch was dead. Uh, and not, not only um, did was 45 replaced, but we of course got our first woman and first black uh, and first Asian American for that matter, uh, vice president. So to watch Vice President Kamala Harris uh, preside over the vote and make the announcement for the vote uh, for the confirmation, I beg your pardon, it's just, it's just incredible. And to, and to your point about, to your point about that, uh, that portrait of the United States, just to put numbers on it. We've seen photos, we've seen graphs, we've seen charts, but it bears repeating. Of the 115 justices that have preceded Ketanji Brown Jackson, 110 were white men. Right. Out of 115 <laughs> justices, right. 110 were white men, two black men. I'll save the joke because uh, that kind of writes itself. Uh, yeah. Four white women and one Latina woman. Oh, hell, damn that. 111 have been white men. Okay, we know what Clarence Thomas is. So let's sit up. That's that ain't fair. No, we're going to do that. That ain't fair, man. Don't do no, that. We, oh, Come no. on, man. No, yeah, Don't I'm do doing that. that. That's, not right. That's not right. That's not right. No, and it is Come not. On. It is not. It, it is not blackness. It is not. No, it ain't about I, disagreeing. Hey. It ain't about blackness hey. in terms of Come authenticity. On. Come on. But, but my, hey. Okay, I'll stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop because I'm not going to steal your joy and I'm not going to derail this moment. By talking about That's him, right. it ain't about him. It's about Kataji Brown Jackson. Not about him. Um, it is not about him. And so, I, look, it's, it's there's a lot of there. There are a lot of um, even though even though even though. Let me just add. Let me just add though. What I sure would if, if I could. If you could grant me three wishes, Aladdin. Um, one of them would be I'd love to see Jenny Thomas's text right about now. <laughs> I mean, I'm him. saying, dude. You see, I, I mean, I that's, why, that's, why, that's, and, that's why I couldn't. That, that's why I couldn't resist. Who's would be oh, worse? You know, who's would be okay. worse? This ain't, this ain't about this ain't, this ain't know. about black people as a monolith, Michael. This ain't about blackness yeah. and and argue. No, this is about your it's insurrectionist spirit. wife. It's a spirit. Okay, this, 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 this is about who you right. are. This is about who you are and 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 what your household is like. But I digress. Right. I digress. Judge Jackson. Yeah. No, there's a, it, it, it's been said. Joy is an act of resistance. Going back to my original point, joy is an act of resistance. And there's so many reasons every single day to, to feel down and discouraged about not only the state of this country, but the direction in which it is heading. You know, uh, pick a story, pick a headline, pick an issue. But for, te for today, for this moment, going back to... Um, you know, Dawn Staley on this day. <laughs> yeah. As for me in my house, yeah. it's going to be a moment of, of joy and celebration to see that face, that smile, that woman, that story, that journey sit on the highest court uh, in this land. So, and you know what? I, I ain't got I nothing else deep to say. I, I ain't got nothing deep to say. Nothing profound to say other than oh happy day. It is day. profound. That's all I, I got. Story, oh happy day. The story itself. The story itself. It speaks is for itself. Profound. The story speaks it's, for itself. It, yes. Here, here's the, the the profundity comes with us in this format on this show on this day, talking about Katanji Brown Jackson, the first black woman uh, on, on, to sit on the Supreme Court. I mean, that's deep in itself, but I wonder mm -hmm. what I want to know as we go forward, because it's one thing to say what somebody is, and then you have to, I, I would hope, I would hope accountability comes in. So for, for Ted Cruz to say what he has said about Judge Jackson, um, for, for Josh Hawley to say what he has said, uh, for, for Blackburn, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you on, but for all these people 
to come up with their comments about who this judge is. I would hope that they are now. Okay, I thought I lost the microphone. Uh, I hope they are now uh, accountable when her record now and her actions will speak yeah. for themselves. They had they had this brief window where they could speak for a judge out of context and the judge couldn't say or, or she could say, but nobody would listen. Hey, this is what I've done. The great thing about the Supreme Court. It's all open now. It's all mm -hmm. on the record. Everybody. So yep. you could go so, there right now. You could go to it. You you uh, family could go to the Supreme Court website right now and look at a true radical. I think you'll find a radical in the Supreme Court. We mentioned it before. The radical, the, the, the Supreme Court does have a radical. Is is one dude who's a radical? His name's Clarence Thomas. <laughs> okay, he's a radical on the Supreme Court. Nobody thinks like him. Nobody on the right thinks like him, thinks like him. And he and even worse, Mike. He rarely speaks. He doesn't even defend himself. He just puts out his stuff and doesn't mm -hmm. even uh, and, and doesn't even try to defend his it. opinions. So, yeah, I, I would hope I would hope that people look at her judge her no pun intended judge her fairly for what she's done. And I think for the left and the right, please stop. Please stop the I'm gonna get you back. I'm gonna get you back. Oh, wait, wait till you get your next nominee. I, I, oh, I got something for you because that's what this became. This became less about the confirmation and more about settling scores. Uh, speaking of scores scoreboard uh, nine member court for the first time ever more most at one time composed of four women um, Judge Jackson uh, or Justice Jackson. I beg your pardon Justice Jackson. Yes, uh, and justices Sonia Sotomayor Alina Kagan and uh, of course Amy Coney Barrett. Uh, like I said most ever at one time. It's also the first time in US history that white men won't be the majority on the Supreme Court. The bench will include five men, four of them white. Uh, but of course, conservatives still hold a six three majority. All right. So let's you take want our that joke break. so bad. You want to do it. You want to do it so bad. What? You want to do it so bad. You said you said, no, I already, said it. I already said it. I already said it. Four already said four white. I already said it. I already said it. I already said it. I'm good. Right. I'm good. It's it's it, like you said, the record speaks for itself. Let's take a break because I don't even feel like uh, contorting myself to to pivot and transition. Um, to the other judicial or, uh, you know, yeah, legislative, the other courtroom story of the day um, in yeah. sports. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but yeah, let's just take a break and keep taking it all in on this historic day. Man, oh man. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.